hi I'm Molly with Robert and Molly Bees. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how I redid this dresser. All right we're starting a new dresser today. It is going to match some side tables that I painted last week for a client and um, this particular dresser though um, we're doing an anthropology knockoff. We're going to use some air clay with some molding um, and we'll get to that when we get to it. But first thing we got to do is a bucket of water and some TSP. So let's go. What is TSP? This is TSP. I know it's backwards in my video, but you can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot for super cheap. It is the same stuff as Dixie Belle's White Lightning and much less expensive if you buy it this way. So two tablespoons in a four quart uh, of water. And then you dissolve that and you wash your piece. This is a degreaser and a deglosser. So it will help you get your piece clean. Some people put it in a spray bottle. I do not. I put it in a bucket with water and I'll show you why um, when I'm done cleaning the piece. Here you can see I'm washing this piece and then um, once we wash it really good with TSP, we do rinse it. Um, there's not terribly anything exciting about this. It's just that a lot of times, I wash the insides behind the, the dresser drawers too, just because you can get all kinds of dust and dirt and I really like to start with a clean clean piece. Um, and I use a bucket of water as opposed to a spray bottle because I feel like I get a lot more dirt out of the piece. All right, this is why you use a bucket with water. This piece is actually pretty clean and um, it's still got the water super grimy. So I prefer a whole bucket of water. I mean, look at that. Boom. Okay, after a good clean with TSP, we're going to do a scuff sanding um, just on the surface to give the surface a little bit of grip for the primer. So that's next. Okay, now that we're all scuff sanded, we just need to rinse everything with a bucket of water. So that's what we'll do next. So I go ahead and tape up my dressers um, so I get clean lines before priming. Um, and I don't have to be as careful when I'm painting. Um, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I prefer it. Um, those inside the drawers, those little spots are just these little plastic things that if you run a dresser over a dresser drawer over it, it'll pull it off anyway to take the paint. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing here and next we prime. Here I'm just priming with one, two, three Zinzer Bin primer. It's a stain blocker and it's an odor blocker. Uh, I find it works just as well as anything else and I usually roll it on and take a, a brush that I'm going to throw away to any of the small cracks that I need to. Okay, so we've primed the whole piece. I got the drawers over there and I've got this piece here. I'm going to let it dry. Uh, I would normally do two coats of primer, but I'm not on this piece and the only reason I'm not is because I already know I'm going to have to do three coats of buttercream. Um, and I know that because I did the side tables that go with this dresser. So if I hadn't done those, I would do two coats of primer and then I would still end up having to do three coats of, of buttercream. So I'm anticipating that the three coats of buttercream will be enough to blend the whole finish. And if not, I'll do four. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, next. Here I'm using IOD air dry clay. I used four bricks of the clay. And what I do is I put a little cornstarch in the mold and then press the molding in the clay into the molding. And then I do take it out of the molding while it's still wet and put a thin coat of tight bond quick and thick on the entire back and glue it to the dresser. I didn't have too many issues with cracking. The biggest pieces were the ones that did crack. I was able to cover those cracks with other smaller flowers and the cracks didn't really matter and I knew they wouldn't in the end because I was gonna be glazing this piece and it would go along with the look of the piece. The moldings that I used, I'm getting a lot of questions about this. I used Redesign with Prima, Baroque Swirls in Bloom, In the Garden, fragrant roses, leafy blossoms, cherry blossoms, and botanical blossoms, and I will put those in the description below. Um, but those were all redesigned with Prima. Here I'm putting on the three coats of buttercream, 
uh, Dixie Belle's buttercream and that went pretty smoothly. I just made sure to jam it into the, the cracks. Then I did about four coats of spray top coat. Um, I don't have a, a sprayer so I did use the can and I went through almost two cans of, of top coat first. Then I used Wise Owl metallic bronze glaze and I work in small sections and then wipe it back with a Clorox wipe. And then I also had a dry paper towel in case I needed, needed to take care of any smearing. But this ended up giving me a beautiful finish. Uh, it, the glaze, once it dried, the piece was finished. It looked gorgeous. I did do some stenciling on the sides because I always have to do something on the sides of my drawers. But it turned out lovely. The glaze was easy to work with. The moldings were really easy to work with. The buttercream covered everything beautifully. And this is how it turned out. Um, I did not top coat after the glaze. You can, you do not have to, but I didn't. And uh, yeah, this is how it is. So if you have any questions or any comments, please leave it below. Please subscribe to my channel, like, follow, share, all of all of that. If you uh, appreciate this and want to see more, more pieces, I try to post um, anything that I'm working on. So yeah, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed it.